it's Redmaster Scott, and this video is a wicked neoclassical metal lesson. Stick around for the technique, theory, and recording behind the music. Don't forget to subscribe for more insanely awesome content, or else I'll pull your hair out and eat your parents. <laughs> Neoclassical music is essentially the combination of classical period technique and harmony with modern music elements. In this case, metal. The Swede for Speed Ingve J Malmsteen is probably best known for this hybrid style. So let's have a look at the technique in this wicked neoclassical metal etude. We're in the key of C sharp minor, which contains four sharps. And essentially I'm using alternate picking to slice through a variety of arpeggios. So that's the first form, outlining a C sharp minor nine chord. And a common thing to do in neoclassical music is to use sequences. And that's exactly what I do in bar two. I go up a half step and play a Neapolitan chord using the same shape. Next, we move to the five chord in the key of C sharp minor, which is G sharp seven. And now we get to the B section, F sharp minor nine. And that moves to D minor nine in the following bar, which this device in composition is known as chromatic medians. F sharp minor nine and D minor nine are not in the same key, but it's a cool sound when you take two of the same quality chord and separate them by thirds. And then we have some transition material, C sharp minor to G chords in several inversions. And there's a tritone relationship between the root of the C sharp minor and the G major, which of course is the most evil interval possible. <laughs> Everybody knows Satan's the best. Then we move to an altered dominant on the five chord G sharp seven flat nine. And then this final section is pretty cool. We've got a series of chords here using the D form from the cage system. So we've got C sharp minor moving to E flat seven, which is the five of five chord. So the five of C sharp minor is G sharp, and then the five of G sharp is D sharp or E flat. Then we're moving to the four chord, F sharp minor, and then we're, we're going to like a C sharp major with a sharp five sound which is a Picardy third. Normally we'd expect the one chord to be minor, but in this case, it turns into major. Gay, straight, gay, straight. Okay, we're here in Logic Pro. Let's have a look at the recording process. So we've got bass guitar first here on the top, and then we've got drums after that. I've got a piano doubling what I'm playing on guitar, which is very neoclassical. Then we've got uh, a pad here, which is cool for like a low end pedal tone. Then we've got an orchestra, and I'm using the Vienna Smart Orchestra for that.
I've only got one guitar track here, and that is panned up the center, and that's the lead line. So there's the tone on that, and I'm using the Line 6 HX Stomp. And there it is. It's I'm using like a, a Joe Satriani, always with me, always with you patch. Always with you, always gay. If you'd like the tab for this lesson, you can get it in the description below. If you'd like to see more content like this, pummel that subscribe button. And until next time, shred till you're dead.